Hey vegan food explorers, we're starting off the week with a bang. It is still Veganuary going strong. So we've got to have another special lunch and we just had a delivery from Subway. We've got a good one, let's go. So already, I mean, I can see these bits of steak. Let's get one out. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's Please smash that subscribe button as we've got loads of awesome Veganuary content coming up. So Subway have launched two brand new subs for for January. I'm not sure if they're hanging around. I'm not sure if they're just for January or whatever, but I've seen that they're being trialed in the UK and I've also seen, which adds further fuel to the fire, I found it really hard to find much more information about them apart from vegan websites, even on the Subway page itself. It's, I, I can't find it on there. I tried to order on Deliveroo. We are blessed and lucky enough to have Deliveroo and Uber Eats here, but neither of them, I could see, had the taste like steak, which is the one that we're gonna be trying. They also have a vegan taste like chicken, but tikka version of the, of the taste like chicken, which is their permanent vegan fixture on the list. Um, but luckily, Just Eat came to the rescue and had the brand new vegan option. So I couldn't choose between them. Um, but I decided to go with the steak one just because I've had the taste like chicken and I can kind of imagine what it's going to taste like and I can imagine it's going to taste pretty damn good but I really can't imagine what the taste like steak is like. Um, I had recently the most thing I can compare I'm going to be comparing this to is from Leon where I had their vegan steak wrap so I'm thinking that hopefully it tastes like that because that was amazing. Right, it costs, in total, this includes delivery, £12. So, I mean, that is relatively expensive. It's eight forty nine just for the foot long on its own. Then I pay for a plastic bag fee, which, let's face it, I didn't really want, but also delivery. So, eight quid, I would hope that you get it cheaper on some days. I know sometimes they have special deals on, but we're paying max price, but we don't care. We've got to get it. So, let's have a look. What I love about Subway Apart from this plastic bag, which is a bit annoying, is the packaging. I think it's super cool and it looks after the goods inside. So there are three subways around where I live, um, which you might not believe actually, as it's not a huge town, but there are for some reason, which is great. So I've tried a different one because the previous one I had, they had a bit of trouble um, making sure it was warm when it got to me. So I'm, fingers crossed, this one's got better reviews. So hopefully this is gonna be the one. But look at that packaging, that looks awesome. Looks really, really cool, doesn't it? Right, let's get into the review properly. So, packaging looks great. Mm, doesn't feel too warm, but whatever. We're gonna have to judge it without. Okay, so sauce-wise, right. Let me get this out of the pack for us. So we went with, and this is, might be controversial, but we went with the steak, then you've got red onion, peppers, lettuce, and then sauce, we went with the garlic alley oli. I think that's the right way to go. I ummed and ahed about the sauce, but I think that's gonna be the best. And then we've got the vegan cheese in there, so it should all be great. Got the basic Italian Italian white bread, I think. I just thought get the absolute standard bread because I sometimes find the breads can be really strong flavored. Anyway, let's have a look. Right, so already, I mean, I can see these bits of steak. Let's get one out. All right, that looks pretty good. Let's try it. Mmm, oh, wow, bit chewy, definitely like steak, look at that, you can see the sinews, the texture, that is pretty cool actually. Bit chewy at the moment, but wow, it's got a hell of a flavour, that is really good. So also, you can see here, look at that, that looks pretty good. So it looks great, it's thick steak, you get steak throughout, all throughout there. That's something with the taste like chicken, I've noticed they don't skimp on the vegan meat. I see them, because sometimes when I've been to, you know, kind of um, uh, restaurants and takeaways where they make it in front of you, say the Mexican um, kind of uh, uh, restaurants where they make it in front of you at the different stations, you sometimes like, oh, you're skimping on the meat. But Subway, I've never seen that where they, they literally just hammer it in there, which is absolutely great. So let's try it. I'm going in for a bite. I'm gonna try and bite here, if you can see that, just to get as maximum steak as possible. Mm. 
That is good. Wow. It's fallen all over the place. It's coming out of my mouth or my hands. Wow. I'll tell you what that tastes like. It really reminds me of the Burger King plant-based Whopper. It's got that, that aroma at the end, which is flame grilled. That is what it tastes like. I was biting it and I was like, please desperately try to remember what it tastes like. That is what it tastes like. It's that really rich, which I think is a massive compliment to this because it's nowhere near as thick as say the Burger King plant-based Whopper, but well, actually maybe it is. But there's so much flavour in there with these steak shavings. And look, there you kind of got these bits and then it's got the sauce all over it. That is really good. Okay, we're gonna go for another bite. Yeah, that is really good. Wow. Mm. That is awesome. My personal favourite was the taste like chicken, but I'm gonna be honest actually. This could could beat it. I'm gonna get a video so we can look at the insides now. So I was a bit worried that the garlic alioli would be way too overpowering, but it's really, really not. I mean, here it just looks like a complete mess, to be honest, but I've got to say, I've been really, really impressed with that steak. Really, really nice, actually. So there you have it, the full review of the brand new Subway Tastes Like Steak. Would I recommend it? 100% I recommend it. I think the taste like chicken has maybe the juice factor. It's so moist. The chicken is tender. It's thick. But this offers something very different. It's not just, say, the same taste like chicken, but maybe with a bit of sauce in it, a different sauce. It's completely different. The steak is fantastic. It is juicy. It is tender. It's got that smoked flavor. Really, really good. I definitely recommend this filling. I think the garlic alioli is great. Not all of the Subway fillings are plant-based, so beware. They normally, I believe on Deliveroo, they have a sign next to it saying which are vegan and which are not. Be careful, because some you think would be vegan are not, but the alioli must be oil-based, potentially. I would That's what I would think it would be, oil-based, but it could be something else. But it is vegan, according to the app, and yeah, absolutely delicious. So, thank you for watching. Let me know if you've tried the chicken, the vegan tastes like chicken tikka. Let me know in the comments below. Have you had the steak? Let me know which one would you try if you had a choice. And as always, it's gonna be a great veganuary. And thanks for watching.